Henry, thank you. Breaking news, the LAPD investigating a pair of street takeovers that ended up with cars on fire overnight. KTLA's Alina Bovian live in University Park with details for us. Alina, good morning. Jess, good morning. Well, it's possible that all this is connected considering in both cases they set cars on fire. Now take a look behind me. You can see the car's been towed away, but still a mess that they're trying to clean up. This is here in the University Park area right in front of the Felix car dealership. The car's been taken away, but you can see the damage to the curb, the street, the sidewalk, pretty significant. It's a relief the dealership didn't actually catch fire considering all the cars here. But take a look at this video. This is from overnight, how it all started as a street takeover. The people out here doing donuts in the street, spectators standing by and watching. This was around 3.20 this morning at South Figueroa and Jefferson Boulevard right near USC. At some point, some of the people from the group, they run over to a vehicle near the dealership. They push the car and set it on fire. Now, also, uh, they broke a glass window of the car dealership. LAPD units responding to this, but the group managed to disperse and no arrests were made. Thankfully, LAFD got here just in time to put the fire out. We spoke to a contractor who works with the LAPD. He says he gets calls to fix similar acts of vandalism at least twice a day. An increase on an everyday, day-to-day -day basis from two calls a day to six calls a day, you know, so it's just increasing overall. You see glass uh, being blown out on main streets, so it, it just creates a big old mess. Also overnight, a similar scene. This was in the Huntington Park area near Normandy and Florence. Also Manchester and Avalon. Street racers taking over several intersections, doing donuts, speeding, driving erratically, and eventually setting at least one car on fire again. Now back out here alive, this is just an example of what is fun for some people, unfortunately, is a big headache for others, and of course, a very dangerous situation. Now the LAPD looking into both cases, trying to determine similarities here, and if the suspects are the same. That's the very latest. I'm Lena Berman reporting live here at University Park, KTLA 5 News.